Hello guys, welcome to our 12th episode of Safety Talk. And my name is Gert Hendricks, I'm a safety coach at FTS Safety. This is Pendele Gomeris, he's our sales director here at FTS Safety. Thank you. <laughs> Good. And just for so that you guys can hear us, we're going to take off our masks. Yes. Ah. Good. Guys, what we want to talk to you guys about today is about being COVID-19 compliant in the working environment. Now, I want to start this whole process for the simple reason is because a lot of people out there, they think when they buy the sanitizers, they've got a mask and maybe a poster or two that they put up that they are compliant. But it is not correct. The law requires you to have a management system, a COVID-19 disaster management system. And if you haven't got the policies and the risk assessments and the procedures and everything in place, it doesn't matter what you have, you are still non-compliant. And we have actually seen from reports from the Department of Labor that 60% of all the companies out there is still non-compliant to the Disaster Management Act. And we have seen also uh, large companies being closed, like Sea Harvest has been closed last week, they are now back up and running, they lost a couple of days. And there's a lot of companies out there that is actually doing half a job in implementing a correct COVID-19 management plan because they want to save a buck or two yeah. and then actually paying in the long run more than double for yeah. Because what is your loss in income when you are closed for a day? Yeah. And I suppose also just understanding the fact that this thing, this pandemic is actually getting worse than it was. Yes. It's even more reason why people should now get yes. their compliance. And that is why it's so extremely important that when you do it, you need to do it right from the day one. Yeah. Okay, and we can assist you guys. So contact us at FTS Safety. This is what we do on a daily basis. We can assist you be in COVID-19 compliant with all your documentations and your posters and whatever you need. And if you are a school, we'll do it for free. Wow. Yeah. If you are a church, we'll do it for free. How amazing. <laughs> okay. But that is the documentation and the legal side of it. That's what we, I can assist you with. But I would love, uh, Pendila, if you can talk to us about your products. And let's see what Pendila has got for us to be compliant. Thank you so much, Kat. Again, my name is Pendila Gomedia and I'm the Sales Director at FTA Safety. And uh, today I will be presenting to you our product called the uh, Viral Shield Ionic Copper Disinfectant that we are just introducing to everyone that to try and replace, slowly but gradually, not fully, replace the 70% um, alcohol-based sanitizer that everyone is using. The viral shield ionic copper um, disinfectant actually has copper content to it. And what we know about copper is that it has been recognized as, a, as vital to our health for over a thousand years. I'm just going to quickly read this to you about copper. It is scientifically proven to fight against influenza bacteria like Cardi superbugs, like MRS, and even coronavirus. Maybe even better coronavirus yeah. at this stage. So it has been proven over 17 years to kill and stop the growth of bacteria, fungi, and viruses, including coronavirus. That's it. So why would you not use the virus uh, disinfectant at the same time? Yeah, it's totally safe. That is the question, actually. To yeah, ask. it's totally safe. It lasts longer. People can use this in the uh, in the uh, kitchens, yes. at their homes. It doesn't have the, a nasty effect like alcohol, and it cannot burn. Hundred percent, it cannot okay. burn. Now the best thing about uh, the Viral Shield product that we have at the, at the, the shop, you can actually visit our retail store here at uh, River Host Valley, um, is that it comes in different packaging. Exactly. Yeah. So you don't have to carry the 25 litre sanitizer everywhere you go. It yeah. comes in different shapes and forms, which are actually conducive to the current environment. Yeah. So as the, the virus spreads, people in far reaching areas need to have this product and they are easier and cost effective way to actually get this product to do today. Not to mention that it's actually cheaper than the sanitizer. Oh wow. Yes. Okay. And that is a big plus factor, eh? Hundred percent. So you can actually now afford to disinfect your pro pro property yes, and not just your hands and sanitize your hands. And that, that is, is that is vital for combating coronavirus in South Africa. So you have to disinfect your environment. And so if it's cheaper and more affordable, that's fantastic. Good. So I'm just going to briefly take you through our products that we have on the table at the moment. So this is the, <coughs> it's a single use actually disinfectant, it's a hand sanitizer gel. So it's single use, you can only just open it once, use it and throw it away. The good thing about this is actually you can keep it in your bags, you can keep it in your, your back pockets, mm. you can take it everywhere you want. It does come in a box of 100. So 
you can buy a box of 100 and then you, you can yeah. literally use it over, I don't know, the whole month. Yeah. And what is so amazing about it is we have had uh, reports coming in of people buying small sanitizer, alcohol-based sanitizer, and it starts burning in the hot vehicle. Yes, that is 100%. Yeah. Uh, and, and so the alternative for this is fantastic, it is a sachet like this, yeah. That's perfect. So it also comes in a 5 litre container. So this is actually, it can be used for mist spraying as well. So you can put this in your, your, your fobbers, your fogging machine, yeah. and you can literally plug your workplace or your home yeah. or wherever you are at that, at that moment. Yeah. Now, for larger spaces or bigger areas like schools, offices, you, you find that maybe a 5 litre won't be much or won't last longer, so you find that they may need a 25 litre or 20 litre. Yeah. So it does also come in a 20 litre um, container that would last you longer or a very good alternative. Okay, this will amaze you. Uh -huh. So now we've got concentrate, virus shield concentrate. Okay. Yes, so what happens is you get the concentrate in this size. You can actually ship it anywhere. Okay. Very cost effective because it's lightweight yeah. compared to the 20 litre container. Okay. And you can mix it with your water yeah. to actually make a 20 litre bucket. Oh wow, so this is a 20 litre disinfectant? 100%. Wow, that's fantastic. Yes, so uh, these are the different products and of course your, your hand gel that you can also just keep at home or in your pocket or bag yeah. and you can just use and keep on sanitizing. So that is the beauty of our final shield. It, it's, it's literally safe for kids, yeah. pets, yeah. animals, human, food environments, yes. and it's actually also very cost effective. Great stuff. Yes, and you can actually, you don't have to hire anyone to actually disinfect your area. You can do this all on your own using yeah. this product. What I like about Viral Shield is it's not just the fact of um, let's do it because we have to do it and then be compliant. Yeah. This is literally a product that is good for you. 100%. It is good for you. It's not like alcohol base that will break you down. Yeah. This is literally good for you. Yes. And it does everything and yes. more. So if you still need a sanitizer that has alcohol in it, 70% alcohol in it, you can have a viral shield sanitizer. So my suggestion as a consultant would be that we still, we cannot overrule the act. No. We still need to be compliant regarding the Disaster Management Act and the yes. Gazette of 29th uh, April. So we have to use 70% disinfectant or 70% sanitizer. sanitizers yes. at the doors and as you come in yes. but to make sure that your environment is safe and continuous use you use something like this which is not only effective but yes. good for you but please the one golden rule that you guys need to take out of this is whatever you do make sure it's correct don't just jump in and say guys we need to get uh, masks we need to get sanitizers and we need to get do it right sit down have a plan Decide what you're going to do and roll it out. When something goes wrong in your environment, you need to take that proof of evidence mm -hmm. and that will protect management. You understand? So if you've just jumped in and you've got no records, you've got no plan, I don't care who you are. You could be a big company, the Department of Labor will close you down. We have seen it happen in South Africa over and over and over again. So guys, we can't afford it. South Africa can't afford it. No individual person can ba battle this on its own, we need everybody to be on board to win this battle against COVID-19. Yeah. Guys, see you guys next week. Thanks Thank very you. much. Bye.